Hi guys, it's Jessica Hayes. Today I just have a super short video for you. I've been meaning to do this one for a really long time. This is how to do winged liner and how to apply fake eyelashes. I hope you enjoy. So I'm gonna do a really thick wing on this eye and then a thinner, like look like you're not wearing any eyeliner kind of look on the other eye. So I'm gonna be using my Kat Von D Trooper liner for this eye and I'm gonna start by making the flick first using the point of the felt tip liner. You can kind of do this on whatever angle you want. If you want a wing that points more upwards, but I like mine kind of more straight across. I'm doing that line first and then I'm gonna start about midway on the eye and just draw that backwards into that flick. Feel any gaps in there. And then do inner corner of the eye. I like to start off quite thin in the inner corner and then thicken it up as it gets towards the outer corner. I'm going to kind of dab that in that little section right there. Just try and even that out and get a nice kind of flowing shape there. If your lashes are super straight, go ahead and curl them. Mine have a little bit of a natural curl, so I skip that step. I'm just going to add a little bit of mascara. You don't have to worry about adding too much mascara, but I like to just pop a little bit on before I put my lashes on. I'm going to be using this Esquito Lashes. These are mink lashes. This is the style BFF. I'm using the Revlon Precision Dark Lash Glue. This is a latex-free glue. They do have it in a clear as well, which I really like, but the dark is great as well. So I'm just going to be taking a really thin line of glue, not too thin, enough that it's going to cover the entire band of that lash, making sure that you have excess on the ends of the lashes because those are always the culprits to start to stick up. And I almost do the glue kind of underneath the band as well because that's what's going to be sitting on top of your lash. So I wait probably about 10 seconds for that glue to go a little bit tacky. The reason why I like this glue is because it dries quicker. And while I'm doing that, I kind of curve the band in just like this, making sure that the, the longest lashes are right on the edge of your last lashes. Place that in as close to the actual lashes as possible. Oh, that's great. So this end bit stuck well. I'm just kind of keeping this little, this first bit in here, because that's usually where it lifts the most. So I always pay most attention to leave that sticking in. So this is the only bad thing about black glue, I guess, is that you have to be very careful that it's not any fingers. But what we're gonna do is we're just gonna let that dry and we'll just flick it off at the end. Now this is where these this lash tool comes in handy. A link below where you can purchase this. What I do is I just grab that and pinch those lashes together. There's nothing worse than seeing, you know, your own lash on the side kind of hanging down and then a fake lash just being all nice and curved there. So this tool definitely helps with that. 
you don't have this tool, just kind of pinch them together with your fingers. Another reason why I put mascara on first is because it leaves the lash like a little bit sticky so that you can crimp those, the natural lash and the eyelash together. So I'm just gonna wait for that little speck to dry there. And then, pretty sure it's dry. And I'm just gonna scratch it off there. There we go, all done. But yeah, like I said, it does come in clear, so that clear would have been a little handy right then. So things to remember, make sure you get it on the very ends of the lash. I'm doing it underneath the band as well because that's where it's going to lay on. Make sure the lash is curved and ready to apply to your natural lash. Sometimes you can get lashes that are very stiff and they'll just kind of be straight. And those are the ones that notoriously just lift always. All right, so let's do this one. Outer edge to my very last lashes. I'm just gonna kind of place that right there. And then at, right now I'm just kind of pushing it back towards the skin. Pushing that in there. Kind of making sure that that's stuck down. So that one went on like a dream. One thing I always do as well is make sure I do my lashes as my very last step to my makeup because if you do eyeshadow now afterwards, you know, say you're going to put like a light color or anything that's lighter than black than the lash. It's going to sprinkle and leave this kind of dusty look on top of the lash. And that just is a really unattractive look. I don't know if it's just me, but it really, really bugs me when I see that. So make sure, you know, if you do that, kind of like dust your lash off with maybe a brush. You can use a little bit of black gel eyeliner to fix that problem as well. So for this eye that has no eyeliner on it already, we want to keep it kind of more natural looking. I'm going to be taking the Smith 202 brush and a little bit of the Maybelline Eye Studio Black is Black Gel Liner. I'm going to be lining just right in here, in the inner corner of the eye. The reason why I do this is because not all lashes, but some lashes have a black band. You know, the lash stops there and then it's just skin. It can look kind of unnatural. Uh, so just trying to make them look as real as possible. Adding that tiny little line right in there in that inner corner can help a lot. Kind of makes them look more seamless. Well, I hope you guys found this little mini tutorial helpful. Like always, if you did, please make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye!